Okay, I'm excited to share with you how to draw Mio from Grand Prix Racers. So Mio's a mermaid, but she has, obviously mermaids have a human kind of head, so let's start there. So we'll draw her with a head that's an oval shape, so we'll start with that. I'm just going to move it over a little bit. And I always like to start drawing really lightly, because what we're going to do is go back and erase some of the places where we draw over the lines and things like that. So I'll show you what I mean in a little bit. So there's her head, oval. Then I usually put a line down the middle where her nose would be. And I actually don't draw Mia with a nose, so that's kind of interesting. But um, it helps to help you put the eyes where they should be. And the next thing I do is I draw a line across the middle of the head like that. And that helps me make sure the eyes are level with each other. So from there, we'll just draw the eyes. I like drawing the eyes in the character early because then it makes them seem more alive. So I'm just drawing two ovals for the eyes. And then inside each oval, there's another oval, and that's the pupil. So there we go. Her two eyes, and she's looking at us. We'll just do a little smile on her face. I usually draw the smile so it's bigger on one side than the other. So now let's draw her body before we get too carried away with details for the face. I like to draw all the big shapes first and then go in and do all the details afterwards. So let's just draw her body so it's kind of a curve like this. Whoop. So that goes down like her chest and down there to the tail. And then the back curve is kind of the same, just a little smaller. And then we'll draw her fins on her tail. So it looks like that. One fin, the top fin, the bottom fin's a little smaller than the top one. So there we go. Now let's draw her arms. So in this case, her arms, she's got one hand on Actually, let's draw her arms just down by her sides. It might be a little easier for everyone following along. So I like to just do a round shoulder like this. And then just, she has like, we call them mitt hands. She doesn't really have any fingers that you can see. They're just all the fingers clumped together and a thumb. So there's one arm then the other arms like the same. So you want to make them about the same length. So that's why I drew that little line there. And then we'll put the cuff of her shirt there and just a little line there to show that that's her thumb. So there we go. We've got her body, her head, her eyes, a little smile. So now what I like to do is put the collar on the shirt. I find that really helps with especially Mio. And these are kind of racing collars. When we're looking at uh, different racing jackets and things like that, I noticed that a lot of them had these kind of collars. So I thought it'd be fun to use that for our whole racing crew. They've all got this special kind of collar, which race car drivers use. So there's a collar, and then we'll put the bottom of her jacket, her racing jacket, down here between her hands. And then one thing all the race jackets have is a zipper, and it's just a, I just draw it with a black line right down the middle. So there she is. She's got her jacket on. So now let's put her hair and ears on. So I like to draw the ear first and it's kind of in like right in the middle of the eye like this. So just draw it. It's just a little curve and it goes right to the edge of the face. And the reason I like to draw that first is because then I just hook the hair onto it right like that. So the hair kind of goes behind her ear and then this part that goes across her forehead connects right on to this part here. So I just draw a little swoop like this. Swoop. And then I draw her bangs. And I like to draw this as one big quick shape because it stays nice and smooth. So sometimes I draw it more than once. And right now I can do an undo because I'm on an iPad. But if you're on pencil, you might want to do it a little more slowly. So I'll do it that way too, just so I'm not cheating. And she has this little curl at the front of her hair. And then I just connect it to the head like that. And then the part behind that big puff of hair at the front is just back here. So I just draw a little arc there. And then her hair is kind of wavy. So the way I draw that going down the left side of her head is I 
come out the side like this down here and then there's a curve kind of around her ear level and then one trick I like to do and lots of people do this is to draw through the character and I'll show you why in a second so the hair would go sort of like that and sometimes if you don't do that you'll end up drawing the hair up here or you know down here and it just looks funny because your eye follows the line of the hair and if it doesn't connect up where your brain thinks it should connect up it feels like it's wrong or there's something wrong with it so I like to draw the hair going right through the body and then I just connect it up to the other side like this so that's the the end of her hair and then I do another little curve like that. And that's her wavy shape hair on that side and on that side. So now she's looking like Mio. She's looking pretty good. Um, one thing we have to do is finish those eyes. So the way that I draw eyes for all the Glam Prix racers is there's a little white spot in the top left corner like that. And it's just a little oval and I do it on both eyes. And then at the bottom of the eye, I do a little shape like this, a little curve. And then I fill in between those two shapes with black for the pupil. There we go. So that's looking nice. And one thing that I always add to Mio, which I almost always forgot in book one, are eyelashes. So the way I do that is just a little tiny triangle on the side of her eye like that. And then I just darken up to the top of her eye and I stop about right there and then the same on the other side just that little black triangle Then I go up to the top there that's looking like Mio and then usually when I'm finishing it off her head isn't exactly an oval but it's when I'm starting to draw her using an oval is a really great guide but I usually square off the bottom of her jaw a little bit like this and then have more of a straight line going up to their hair. And then on this side, I like to draw more of a straight line here. There, that looks exactly like Mio. <laughs> so I'm just going to darken some of these parts now because we're going to go in and erase all the stuff we don't want. There, now we can go. She's ready to race.